name is Brandon Howell and I handle technical marketing with InterSales Digital Power Group. I'm here to talk about the ZL8801 and how it can support current share. The ZL8801 is a dual phase controller with a fully digital control loop. I've got the eval board right here. This is showing a four phase design. On the board behind me, I show all the important connections that are required for a current share application. I have the ZL8801, our power stages, in this case the ISL 99140 Dr. Moss power stage. I have all the outputs connected together. And then I have a DDC and sync bus um, to enable current share operation. So let me go into some details exactly what DDC and sync mean. The sync bus allows us to synchronize the clock spreading between the two devices. One of the devices outputs its clock and the other device receives that as an input. This allows us to do phase spreading to have ripple cancellation uh, in a current share application. The other bus is the DDC bus. The DDC bus is an intercell proprietary bus that allows for inter-device communication. Using the DDC bus, the controllers are able to broadcast their current share information between each other. We use this bus for dynamic current balance and it allows the controllers to have equal balance between all four phases. So again, in this case, I have a four phase design with the outputs tied together and the ISL 99140 Dr. Moss power stage. A uh, design like this would be capable of approximately 120 amps. In the corner here, I'm showing how we, what, what interleave is. So in this case, I've got four phases. This would be the four phases, one from each controller, and they're all interleaved and separated by 90 degree increments. By separating the 90 degree increments, you effectively multiply your switching frequency by four. So in a 500 kilohertz per phase application, you're looking at an effective switching frequency of two megahertz. This can allow for very low V-out ripple and also helps improve the transient performance. Now let's go to the lab and we'll take a look at the ZL8801 uh, using our Power Navigator software and I'll show how easy it is to set up the devices for current share using our GUI software. Alright, uh, so the first thing I'll do is um, show you how to configure the ZL8801 for current share. The ZL8801 eval board by default comes pre-configured um, so this is not something you need to do, but I'll just go through it and show you how, how easy it is to do with our, our GUI. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is drag the ZL8801 controller from our Power Navigator part library. Um, so I will drag two devices onto the power map. And then to put them in current share, it's as simple as dragging one of the devices by this donut looking object. And then when I drag it and drop it on top of the other one, that donut highlights. I let go of the mouse and now I've got a four phase um, current share configuration uh, with the ZL8801. If I want to adjust the output voltage, for example, to one volt, I just type in one volt and then I've got a one volt output. So uh, setting up current share with Power Navigator is uh, very simple um, thanks to the uh, ease of use of the GUI.